morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever time zone, I greet you in the name of Jesus, and it's so great to have you. I'm Jen Mallon, and welcome to Come Home. You know, there's this great scripture in Proverbs 8:11, and it says, for the value of wisdom is far above rubies, nothing can be compared with it. So look, I have some nuggets, some gems, some rubies for you on today's program. And you might say, well, how would this be applicable to me? Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had low energy? Have you had mood swings? How about do you feel tired or sluggish or brain fog? Have you noticed that you're gaining weight or your metabolism is slowing down? Well, if any of that applies to you, then we have a guest today who's helping us with Temple Care, Temple Repair, and his name is Dr. Neil Goodman. He is a physician, a practitioner, and uh, he served in the military, and he also is an author, Biohacker's Guide to the Galaxy. And basically, he's helping the body of Christ uh, cooperate with the way that God created us. Now, we can't get all the nutrients and supplements we need in our food supply. And so he gives us practical things and basically four big things things that can help us. Today, we're talking about the three out of the four. It's called NAD. And he'll break it down, but uh, he calls it, a good way to remember it is it's a nice addition to my day. And when we get our NAD right, uh, it's called the holy grail of longevity. I want to live out the fullness of my days, and as my days are, so shall my strength be. So he's going to help us He's going to bless us. He's going to enlighten us. He's going to encourage us. And so stay tuned for this episode. Now, before we go and we hear from the doctor, uh, let's go to this life hack. And I love this. It's from Moms on Call to Precious Ladies. And they're going to talk to you about your baby, grandbaby, foster baby, doggy baby's ideal sleeping environment. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Jennifer Walker, and today we're gonna talk about making a safe sleep environment. Well, that's perfect timing, because it's time to put him down for a nap. Oh, great. So we're gonna put him down. No, not in this crib. Well, but those stuffed animals are so cute. You know what else is cute? A sleeping baby. These are not safe. Well, surely we can keep this nice, soft blanket. No loose blankets, Laura. It's not safe. Well, can I at least keep the mobile? Because look how cute these are. Babies learn by association and routine, and we want them to associate crib time with sleep time. So we want to make this sleep environment as boring as possible. There's nothing to do in here but sleep. No pillows, loose blankets, pillow-like crib bumpers, or stuffed animals. This, this is the ideal sleep environment. It's 68 to 72 degrees, The baby's in a onesie with a swaddle under three months of age, and the white noise is on high. And it's good to note that during the day, we can actually have a little natural sunlight coming in, and at night, we want it pitch black dark, just like the womb. We're just kind of recreating that great womb environment. but I really love this projector that shoots stars up on the ceiling. Was your womb a disco? (laughs) No. We're gonna turn this white noise on and we are going to have an ideal, safe sleep environment that was created just for this little one to make those associations and help him to know the difference between daytime sleep, nighttime sleep, and get those long stretches. All right, sweet one, it's time to go sleepy house. Good night.
Well, Moms on Call and their wonderful life hacks actually play right into our program today with our incredible guest, Dr. Neil Goodman. And basically, we in this day and age have been exposed to so much. If you've been with us the last few shows, we've been talking about mitochondria. We've been talking about uh, oxidation and we've been talking about our cells and how they need to speak to each other and how to reawaken them, resurrect them and restore them. And I know that if you're like me, you want more energy. You want your thoughts and brain to be clear. You want your body to operate the way that God created it to operate when he said, let there be. And so today, we're coming back to this table. We're getting educated. We're learning about some very complex words, but really simple systems that will help us live out the fullness of our days. Listen, the enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy, but we are not going to let them, let him. And how do we do that? We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We get testimony from experts who have dedicated their life to finding out about these things, understanding how they work, and then sharing it with others. And that is what Dr. G has dedicated his life to doing. So thank you for being with us nice today. To see you, Tim. I'm so grateful. Uh, you, you really. Um, help us with these issues. I think sometimes we just accept them. We just accept, oh, I'm aging and, you, you know, so I'm, my energy is going to be lower. I'm not going to fight off disease as well. And every once in a while, we'll see an infomercial or we'll hear a story of someone who's just vivacious and energetic and glowing and radiant. And we're like, well, they're just, that is not normal. That is the exception. But what you're teaching us is it is normal. And we as believers are the exception but we need to learn about what's going on. Right. Okay, so today, today we're gonna to talk about something called NAD. Oh yeah, that's a big topic. Okay, so share with us what it is. Okay, well, uh, first of all, NAD, I like to say nice addition to my day. <laughs> if you could get more NAD, it is the holy grail, essentially, of longevity. It is what keeps the cells alive, it's what keeps us alive. And in fact, if you're, say, you're like, what, 30? Oh, you, oh, I right? just love you. I'm gonna have you back okay. over and over okay. again. <laughs> well, so by the time we're like 45, I don't know. Uh, if you're like 45, you've lost 50% of your NAD. And if wow. you're 80, you've lost about 95 to 98% of your NAD. It is a cofactor that we need for our cells to survive. When we have no NAD, we don't exist. Can we get it back? So we can restore it. Okay. Yeah. And we want to do everything in our power to get NAD back. So it's a nice addition to our day, right? A fabulous right. addition. But that isn't actually what NAD stands for. Okay. NAD is actually a very big word, and it stands for nicotinamide riboside, uh, or I'm sorry, I can't even say it right, <laughs> nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And it's actually a cross between ATP and part of our DNA sequence but it exists as a cofactor that all cells need in order to do their work. And so in these last few shows that we've been talking, I picked a couple of different cell signaling pathways that I thought were necessary in order for us to have the best health that they could be. And we talked about NRF2, right. we talked about NRF1, which right. is to help mitochondria, and we talked about NAD, and one of the other topics we're going to talk about is collagen. Oh. So those are the four things that I think that most people need to know to try to get their game up and improve their health overall. So that's what we're going to talk about. So I want to just clarify, if we apply the truths that you're teaching, and of course, we don't ever ask anyone to just blindly accept it, go do the research, go on, right. go on Dr. G's website, watch his educational videos. Uh, but if you're saying that if we will... Uh, add these supplements to our diet that we are going to live a much better life, a healthier life, and even our days can be extended because the human body is designed to live how long? Well, actually, we're designed, as far as we know, scientists show that the, we're genetically programmed to live about 140 years. And yet we're not. And yet we don't achieve that. Now, some people get pretty close. Some people have gotten to 120 years, but you know in the days of Noah, they lived 900, 600. Yeah, centuries, yes. centuries. We don't hear of any of that during this time. 
and I'm not sure why, but we certainly in the last, say, 100 or so years have extended lifespan from maybe when people would die at age 40 and 50 right. uh, back in the 1700s, perhaps, and now we're living greater and greater lives. In fact, the majority of our population is going to be, you know, uh, octogenarians in the near future. And what is that? Well, people who live more than 80. Yes. Well, and that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're definitely extending life and it's getting better. And I think it's partly because we've improved our ability to heal. Medicine has improved. Technology has improved. And we've been given knowledge as to what things what we can do uh, to turn on certain systems that maybe start to decline with age. Yes. And I appreciate your life and ministry because not only are you taking science and medicine, but you are you are using it to point to God, creator, and in the perfect way he designed us. And so you're marrying these two things and really bringing enlightenment and bringing hope and healing to the body of Christ. Because, Dr. G, one thing that grieves my husband and I is, is, is there's so many in the body that are sick and they're not well and they don't have to be in that state of mind. Right. So... Could I just briefly pray for our audience? I think that would be fabulous. Just to start this process I of trying be... to incorporate what we want them to know. Um, Lord, I ask you to bring to our viewers today the ability to integrate this information that perhaps is new to them, uh, that you allow their minds to be open to these big scientific words and they not be closed to the possibility or the realm that in fact, there is a innate ability of our bodies to heal, and you have given us the information. You have given us the genetic code to do that. You have given us the resources on this earth in order to manifest your glory in us. If we can just raise the bar on our temple, if we can restore our temple to what it was supposed to be when you created us and make us all as though we were children again. And I ask this in Jesus' name that you bless this community to hear this message today. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. No, thank, thank you. you prayer, that. listen, on this program, prayer is the most important thing because we, without yeah. prayer, we can't accomplish anything. Right. So let's go back to longevity. Let's go back to anti-aging. Let's go back to how can we come in agreement and we and how can we enhance um, our design with mm. supplements that are God made because a lot right. of the things you talk about they're herbs right they come from nutrition. natural things natural things well I think first of all it's important to know that when we talk about this thing NAD this nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide it's a molecule that is inherently unstable it you, you can't just buy it off the shelf and take NAD the people talk that maybe you could there are supplements that are out there that help to boost levels of precursors for NAD so that you might have more of the things that NAD is made from. Like one of them, for example, is vitamin B3 or nicotinic acid or niacin. That's a component of NAD. So you can take that, but it really doesn't help to elevate your NAD level. So that's where the falsehoods sometimes exist in the public. People take too much of certain vitamins and sort of overdo it because they don't really have any direction. So NAD in itself is not something that you can take. What we want to do is we want to stimulate our own bodies to turn on the signaling that makes us make NAD. That's the key in all of the stuff that we've been talking about. That's it's a good. genetic signaling. We have the code. It's programmed into us. Like that DVD disc that I keep yeah. talking about, right? When that DVD disc gets damaged, we can't make as much as we used to do. So if we can repair the DVD by signaling and erasing the damage by some of those other things we talked about. Now we open up the ability of ourselves to come back up to be the power plants that they need to be, to make the mitochondria for energy that we need to have in order to heal, and in order to make enough NAD to repair our DNA, which has been damaged. And that's really what NAD does. NAD is the cofactor that polishes the disc. It takes the scratches and the fines off the surface so that when the disc spins, it reads again. And now all of a sudden we have opened to us the entire genetic code that we were programmed with as a child that allows us to heal. And think of what that genetic code does. What does it do? It tells us what to make in right. our body, what cells need to be repaired, how to make protein, um, how to make vital chemicals that we need to live, right? Right. 
So, so what foods, what minerals, what herbs stimulate it? Yeah, so there's a lot of them that do that actually. And they don't do it in and of themselves because we have to remember this is a signaling system. It's about balance. Copper, for example, is important in the process of NAD production by the body. Niacin, as I mentioned before, is important in that. Um, interestingly, there are certain herbs such as wasabi, which is Japanese horseradish, <laughs> seems to stimulate the NAD gene. Who would have known? You know, who knows I about eat lots things, of wasabi, right? so that's yeah, good yeah, news. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. So, but all of those in themselves aren't going to be guaranteed that you're going to have an extended life. But they may impact your ability to make NAD. Right. Well, this is where the science comes in. Okay. Scientists research these things. They perform experiments and they test and they look and see that using various combinations of herbs, minerals, and plant products, vitamins, etc., that they try to get NAD production in cell lines to be as best or as great as they can be. And they do experiments on that and then they repeat them to see if they're reproducible. And it shows, in fact, some very interesting things. Uh, first, we need a reference level. Um, what can we do right now that will increase our NAD level? Can you name, do you name, know some things? Mm, exercise? Yes. That, was that is so good, <laughs> exercise. This is, why, this is why your doctor wants you to exercise because when you do that, you increase your ability to make NAD. That's excellent. How about another one? Do you know another Sleep. one? Sleep, um, it might, but it isn't reported okay. to. Uh, water intake. No, it Peace. is, no. What? Peace. Peace? Uh, Non-stressful uh, lifestyle. Well, I, that's always helpful, okay. but I'll tell you what the okay. ones are we know about. Okay. And this is, this is really interesting. So the things that increase our NED levels and can actually almost double your NED levels are thermal or cold stress. That means going in a hot sauna and then taking a cold plunge. You remember how the Swedish people and I people did. up in Nor Nor Norway yes. and Sweden and so forth will do that? That's sort of like a thing. Get yes. in a hot tub and then or a sauna and then go do a freezing cold plunge or those polar bear things. Yes. Those crazy people who they, do that. They, there's something yeah, to they're, it. They're increasing their NED levels by okay. doing that. They, they may not know that, but that's what they're doing. So thermal stress. Okay. Exercise is the other one. Okay. And the other one is starvation. Ah. Yeah, so oh, who like wants to starve? That's not very popular. Intermittent right? fasting, though, right? Okay, so people came out with caloric restriction was first, and then they came out with intermittent fasting. Okay. And the reason people intermittently fast is it mimics a semi-starvation state. Okay. And in doing so, triggers the system of survival and causes us to start making more NAD. And then as a consequence of that, we start getting house cleaning. We start clearing out dead zombie cells. Yeah. And I talked once before about zombie cells. Zombie cells are basically cells that have died but don't know that they've died. <laughs> and they just sort of hang around and cause everything to be... Wreak havoc. Yeah, they wreak havoc. They cause inflammation, metaflation. And we know that metaflation is the root of all disease and oxidative stress, brain injury, brain fog, low energy states, chronic fatigue, all of that, right? So if we can get rid of those zombie cells and wipe them out, well, that's what NED helps us to do. Okay, so that, that is very important. Um, and then also NED and um, uh, that, that whole process of NED also turns on a, a protein, a special protein that was actually discovered in earthworm. Hmm. Now, it just so happens that we have the same protein in us humans as we have in earthworms. And that protein is responsible for cell house cleaning. That's called a sirtuin protein. Okay. I had no idea what a sirtuin protein was six years ago when I, and now I went to medical school much longer than that. Yeah. Many, they didn't talk about this right. stuff. In fact, they never ever talked about nutrition from the standpoint of uh, as a healing thing. Wow. It was always medicine, medicine, medicine. But we know now that m not only medicines are helpful, but Exercise is helpful, prayer is helpful, meditation is helpful, um, staying fit, eating properly, and semi-starving or fasting. Being in a fasting state helps to induce sirtuin proteins to the point where you can increase them by 94%. Wow. 94% over, in, in, but it'll take you three days to do it. But still, three where days can to, you get those kind of results, 94%? Right. So, so now we have a supplement. We. Scientists have actually researched and put together these herbal things that I talked about that can mimic 
the, uh, the effect of intermittent fasting, and yet you can get results in 24 hours. You can double your sirtuin and NAD levels in essentially 24 hours. That's, That's unheard of. That's so amazing. imagine imagine if you did that now in combination with intermittent fasting just because you like it, yeah. and exercise, and cold and thermal stress, you potentially have the ability and the hope that we could live a healthier, more longevitous life. A healthy, a, you know what it would be is a longer health span. Not right. necessarily a longer lifespan, but a longer health span. Right. The time that you're in good health before you pass. Yes. That's what we want. There's a scripture in Psalms that I, I speak over many people, you know, especially those that are uh, struggling with uh, quality of life. I, there's a scripture that says, um, as your days are, so shall your strength be. And really, isn't that the goal? We don't want to be on earth if we're not strong and healthy. And, and, and you just said it, we're living uh, healthy lives longer, not right. just longer lives, not right. healthy. Right. Because who wants to be here a, a number of years if your quality of life is so poor? Right. But we, I, I'm just amazed that you, you, what you just explained to me and others is that we can do something. We can come in agreement with God, in agreement with the way he made our bodies, and we can do something that costs no money. Exercise does not cost money. Uh, cold and hot, uh, shocking does not cost money. Might not be comfortable. Intermittent fasting doesn't cost money. And yet we can do those things. We can make a decision to come in agreement with God and we can help these pathways in our body. And it's all achievable. And the other thing too is, is you know, really what we're doing here in the, our conversations over the next couple of days and the past couple of days is we're trying to give hope to people who are being afflicted. Yes. We are being afflicted against our wishes by all the negative things that are out there, whether it be uh, pandemics or um, uh, stress from work or um, financial implications that befall us. All of those things take a toll on us. And it's our choice to decide that, okay, we just accept that as that's our sentence, or we can rise above that and take the knowledge that we have and take charge of the situation and follow the path that God put before us and make the best of our lives yeah. and try to maximize what we can do in the world. So Dr. G, many, uh, I had many reach out to me after we did our, our last series of programs and they said, how can I uh, have a more in-depth conversation with Dr. G? Okay. So do you do nutritional consultations? Do you come alongside people that are really ready to commit to this journey and how do they get in touch with you? Sure, um, well actually that's a very good question. On my website, I do have a, um, a, a place where people can put their name and their information and I will get back with them. Um, I, I have licenses to practice in a number of states, but when it comes to that, that's essentially outside of the state's um, realm of you know, practicing medicine, so it becomes more counseling. Right. So I'm happy to give people information, assistance, if they don't understand that. I try to put a lot of resources on the website so that you can sort of self-educate, and of course you can get my book there. I have lectures that can be downloaded and PowerPoint slide, slideshows, and even a place where I even give the talk myself yeah. that they can download. So there's lots of resources like that, but um, there are actually on my webpage quick links to each of the things that we talked about, these signaling pathways, where if they just, they understand and they don't want to do all the research and they just want it, just want to get it started, there are links that they can hit and they can go ahead and order that for themselves. That's wonderful. And uh, I even have some members of my team that they've ordered it, I <laughs> ordered it, and we are seeing a difference. Oh yeah. There was one girl on my team that since she was a, a young girl, uh, eight or nine, they put her on Ritalin. They said she had ADD, ADHD, uh, that she couldn't concentrate. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she has been plagued with these pharmaceutical uh, drugs since she was a little girl. And she started taking yeah. uh, the NRF2 okay. and has seen tremendous results. Yeah, so NRF2. Com completely off pharmaceuticals. That's that's amazing. That's yeah. an amazing story. And it's but it's not unusual. Yeah. NRF2 talks to at least 400 other genes <gasps> that have huge implications to have with cardiovascular health, mental health. Uh, this NAD thing that we talked about supports mood and concentration. 
um, glucose metabolism, repair of DNA, uh, 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 getting rid of potential cancer cells. I'm not saying it does. I'm just saying it supports that, it supports our ability to survey and clean house from these senescent or zombie cells. Yeah. Uh, it's a huge, huge implication. If you get all of these systems operating at maximal, you know, where you're doing NRF2, NRF1, NED, and potentially the collagen that we're gonna talk about, well, we have a huge potential to heal. And uh, really, it's the hope that that could take place. We don't know how that looks in individuals. Right. You know, everyone's so unique. Yeah. What, what happened to them? Where, what was their story? Yeah. Where did they take ill? Uh, we don't know that. Yeah. Uh, but in most cases, it's going to help. Yeah. What we do know mm -hmm. is that people who don't feel good want to feel better. And it, there's people watching right now, Dr. G, and they're like, listen, I've tried everything. I hear what you're saying. Something in my heart is saying, I've got to try this. I've got to do it. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Could you pray with them? Can you encourage them? And can you let them know that they will not always feel the way that they feel right now? Absolutely. Um, Lord, I ask that you bring your audience uh, the knowledge and the understanding that they have the ability to invoke not only science, but also the gifts that you've put on this planet to remove the infirmities, to heal the infirmities, to reduce the, their pain, their stress level, their oxidative stress level, and bring their metabolism back to the level that it was designed to operate at as though they were a small child. And Father, to give them the hope that they do not have to remain afflicted, they do not have to be a victim, they do not have to succumb to the power of the, of the evil one who attempts to steal and destroy and kill. Because God has said to us that he has given us all gifts to allow us to live our lives and to um, and manifest our lives in the world in his glory. And I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. You know, so some of you uh, are loving this and some of you are saying, why are we talking about this? I wanna hear about Jesus. Well, let me tell you something. Jesus went about doing good, healing all who had disease and affliction. And that is why we're here with you today. We want to see you healed. We want to see you running with the call of God on your life. And you need your temple to be strong. So I encourage you to go to biohackerusa.com. As Dr. G said, there's videos, there's his book, there's teaching seminars, there's information. And we need that information the captives, the captive part of our mindset needs to be set free. So I want you to come home to Jesus Christ, but come home back to the body that Abba made you, a strong, healthy, anointed body. We'll be back tomorrow and we're gonna continue this conversation. I'm Jen Mallon, come home.